Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alan and welcome back to the channel. Uh, right now I'm sitting on my Cub Cadet X-T1 lawnmower and about a week ago I was trying to mow and I, I mowed about half of my yard or so, um, as you can see out there. And uh, then I turned the lawnmower off just to take a break for a second and whenever I went to get back on it to start it, uh, it wouldn't start back up. And basically what it's doing, if, if I try to start it and I turn the key, Basically, it doesn't do anything, um, and it, the, key, the key kind of feels sort of weird, like it doesn't feel like the key is turning anything or working correctly. Um, so I did a little bit of research on it, and uh, what it seems like is the problem is the ignition switch needs replaced. Um, so in the spirit of what I do on this channel, trying to figure out how to fix things by myself, I'm going to try to fix this on my own and see how it goes. And I ordered another ignition switch here, um, so basically the thing just comes all together like this. And as far as I looked online, like it doesn't look like it's going to be super hard to replace. Uh, this is about a $60 part, and I'll link this in the description too if you're somebody that um, is having the same problem with your lawnmower. Uh, hopefully <laughs> this will fix it. We're going to find out. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm not sure how hard it's going to be to get this ignition switch off. Um, I'm not sure if I want to try to get screwdrivers, like put a screwdriver down in here to try to pry it. So you can see it has these little like tabs on the side that you push in. And then besides that, basically just like this is a connector that plugs in and that's a connector that plugs in. Uh, but if you try to go from underneath the lawnmower, just the gas tank is in the way. And I don't know, I don't know how well you got, I mean, you can see that like the ignition switch is up here. Um, I don't know if I can reach in there and grab it or not. Looks like I probably can. I don't think you guys can see that, but there's a little white connector up kind of at like the, top of the screen up here. I think that's the back of it. Um, so maybe I can reach it by going that way. But I'll film it and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it fixes what's wrong with the lawnmower. little bit of help here for my wife and daughter and father-in-law <laughs> uh, but just to show you guys so I took the old one off I actually just uh, got it off with a screwdriver from the front I couldn't quite reach it from the other side um, but if you have really small hands you might could but to show you guys this thing is like really dirty yeah if you can pull it out of there okay. nope. it doesn't really pull but that's it that's all she's got. Well, if you can see that it's just like really dirty and stuff um, so I'm gonna blow that off with an air hose and then uh, go ahead and try to pop the new one on there well this is the new ignition switch but it still isn't working correctly so even if I try to start it now the key is still acting the same way uh, the headlights will still turn on so like right now the headlights are on, um, but yeah, it's still not working right. So I'm not really sure what else to do. Um, I checked the battery last week to see if it was the battery and the battery was fine. Um, but I guess I'm just going to put the battery back on the charger just in case. Um, it's that and we'll try to start it again here in a little bit. And if that doesn't work, I'm not sure. I guess I'll have to do, uh, do some more research, but that's a bummer. Um, but I did get that replaced. Um, at least I don't think that was the problem it looks like so I'll try something else so since that didn't work uh, I've got the battery charging again uh, I don't think that's what it is but just in case and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, one other thing that a lot of people say is a common problem is the spark plug needing cleaned uh, which I cleaned I think the last time I cleaned it was two years ago um, so I'm gonna try and yeah uh, there's the spark plug uh, right here uh, I'm gonna try cleaning that and see if that does anything uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so I got the spark plug out, and it's really not, um, if I can get that to focus, uh, nope, but it's really not that dirty, I don't think. Uh, it's like a little bit black on there, so I'm gonna hit that with a wire brush, but I'm not feeling confident that that's gonna fix it. But And if you're curious, uh, this is where the spark plug was, and I just uh, used a 5 8 inch uh, spark plug socket um, to, get that, to get that out of there. And uh, I'll use a wire brush if I can find one <laughs> uh, to clean this off, then try putting it back in there. 
All right, I found a wire brush, and I'll put links to all this stuff in the description, um, just in case you guys need any, any of these things while you're working on your lawnmower. I feel like this thing is in pretty good shape, but I don't really know that much about spark plugs, so what do I, really, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Now, if this doesn't fix it, um, and the bat charging the battery doesn't do anything, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do from there. I'll probably, um, I don't know. I guess if that doesn't fix it, I may have to take it somewhere to get it worked on, because I think that's going to be about all I can try myself. All right, let's see if I can get this back in there. I'll just clean the spark plug, so we're going to see if this starts now. Still got nothing. Guys, I don't know what's wrong. All right, well, I took the battery out. Um, I'm actually gonna go to AutoZone or somewhere like that real quick and see if I can get this battery tested. Uh, maybe that's what's wrong with it. Um, if that doesn't fix it though, um, then pretty much from there I'll be uh, at a loss. I won't really know what to do, so I'll probably have to call somebody. <laughs> um, but we're gonna see if this battery's any good. I'm gonna take it and get it tested real quick. I just got back from AutoZone. They tested my battery and said that the battery is fine. It was 100% charged, so that was not the problem. Um, and I did figure out the problem, uh, however I feel really, really silly, um, and it's just like kind of embarrassing. But just to show you the problem, so apparently, unless I bumped something while um, I was working on this, my blades were engaged while I was trying to start earlier, I think. Um, so that is why it wasn't starting. Uh, I don't know how long that was been up like that, because usually whenever my mower doesn't start, usually I push down those blades and that's the first thing that I check. Um, so notice while that's pulled up, of course, it's not going to start because it's a safety feature. But if I push this down, the mower is going to start right up. <laughs> um, so I apologize, guys. I really didn't try to uh, make just kind of a pointless video here, but I guess that's kind of what it ended up being. <laughs> um, but So I replaced this, I think, for no reason. Um, I think it was just a safety feature that was the only problem. So, wow. Really sorry to waste you guys' time. But let's start this mower up, and I'll start mowing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.